Hello, comics and pop culture people. It's your friend Brian, a.k.a. Big B McFly, and today we are in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I'm here for my DOT physical. Uh, the good news is they were not able to detect my android body, and they still think I'm a human, so everything's good. Uh, so uh, <laughs> we're going to make our way over to Vancouver, Washington, to a couple places that I know, and uh, see what we can find. So wish me luck. All right, guys, we are here at my friend Bo and Derek's shop, Reckless Hobbies. No relation to uh, Bo Derek, though. So the reason I was there actually was I was headed over to my friend Travis uh, from Comics Limited to his house to pick up a, uh, we'll call it a minor grail. And uh, so I was killing some time there and I actually had a mission. If you guys have not seen, I have a video that I made a while ago about how to grow your comic collection without spending all of your quote unquote green your your money and uh this is one of the places where i do some trading of stuff that i found at garage sales and whatnot so i'll put a link to that video at the uh the end of this one so you guys can check it out if you like um but i had ended up taking in uh some vintage apparel that i had picked up at a garage sale for a good deal and getting some credit towards towards books so without further ado let's get into the books that we got here and then i'll tell a little bit more about the story so uh first up here we got avengers number two from the mark wade mike del mundo run uh this is an awesome alex ross cover with all of the cool versions of kang all kind of lined up there in a row um got a steal of a deal on this one he had it marked at three dollars so i was real happy to get that and then going along with that we've got another one of the alex ross covers featuring Kang on uh, Avengers number six. Thought that was also a very cool cover to pick up. And I think he also had that one marked at three dollars as well. Um, this one here we got this was uh, Daredevil 197 from the Frank Miller run. Uh, this is the first appearance of Eureka, the the gal who becomes 
Lady Deathstrike. So that's a cool little key there to pick up. And then uh, just a cool big old thick boy here. Uh, Dark Horse Presents uh, Hellboy, uh, number issue number seven there. So that's a nice big, uh, big comic worth a fair amount of money. Just by cover price, it was like seven ninety nine. I think it's like a, a $15 book nowadays. Uh, and then I grabbed some Deadpool because, you know, why not? It's Deadpool and that was there in the back issue bin for a reasonable price. Uh, Deadpool number nine from his uh, original first ongoing series. And then uh, Deadpool V Gambit, v, the V is four, and then they blurred out. Let's leave that up to your guys' imagination. Um, and then uh, Prelude to Deadpool Core number four. So those three little Deadpool books. And uh, then a cool little flash key here. Uh, the Black Flash um, from Flash 141. This kind of, the Black Flash is kind of the the version of death that comes after the speedsters there in the DC Universe. So the Black Flash appearance there. I think that's his first full appearance. And then we had a uh, Incredible Hulk Todd McFarlane cover. So see Todd by Todd, you know. So he picked up some Hulk. And then this one I think is a cool key for Hulk. Uh, this is uh, Hulk number 456, uh, where Hulk becomes uh, the uh, one of the horsemen of Apocalypse War. So another cool Hulk key there. And uh, then also these were on his dollar section. Um, so we have Legionnaires number seven, and uh, you see down there the AH, that's Adam Hughes, so uh, it's an Adam Hughes cover, and whenever you find Adam Hughes, you wanna pick him up, especially uh, if it's for a dollar. So, <laughs> Legionnaires number seven, Adam Hughes cover, and then we've got another Legionnaires cover. Again, you see that AH over there. Adam Hughes, uh, Legionnaires number 14, so. Cool to find some bargain bin Adam Hughes covers. Um, and then we found a Man of Steel number one, the variant cover. And then a chunk of the Max. Uh, so the Max was uh, one of the uh, cool image titles from the 90s. Uh, Sam Keith, uh, very popular and very unique artist. And uh, the, the later issues of that run are super low print run, and so they're kind of hard to find and uh, have some value to them. So snagged these guys up. So there we got Max number 28. And then we've got the Max number 29. We've got two copies of that one. And also two copies of the Max number 30. It's an interesting cover where you're peeking under the door. <laughs> and then two copies of Max number 31. And also two copies of Max number 32. So good deals there. And uh, then they had a whole bunch of these uh, Phantom issues by Charlton. That's the Phantom number 74 from, I believe it was from 1977. And I just thought that cover was so cool. So I couldn't resist that one. I had actually picked up all of the issues of the Phantom that they had there. But then uh, we'll talk about that uh, at the end. We kind of got to some haggling and I ended up putting a few of those ones back. Um, and then I uh, picked up a minor quasar key there can't remember the exact uh, key that is you guys chime in in the comments down below if you can tell me what the key is there for that quasar issue and then we got some star wars stuff so we got uh 
Star Wars Bounty Hunters, or a Sing One Shot. Uh, I guess that one was quite hot for a while there and then kind of uh, came down a bit, but uh, pretty cool book to get. And then a uh, Star Wars Dark Times number one, Tate's Dark Horse Day 2011 exclusive. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then we got a Star Wars Legacy number five, another minor Star Wars key. And Star Wars Legacy number 14, another minor Star Wars key. And then uh, Legacy 24. And a Star Wars Obsession number five, which is a Ventress, Darth Ventress uh, key. So there's some Star Wars. And then we've got a quite a large chunk of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the IDW run. So Turtles number four. Some of these are bigger keys there. So there's Turtles number 20. Uh, this one here was a key, I know. Uh, Turtles number 23. Uh, this one also, Turtles number 25. Some cool covers there. And Turtles number 48. Turtles number 49. A lot of action going on there. And then uh, this is Turtles number 62, the sub cover. And number 63. And then a Turtles number 67. 68 and then kind of cleaned him out of turtles that's whenever i find these for a good deal i've been picking them up so turtles number 75 that's a big old thick boy eight dollar cover price on that one and turtles number 76 and then turtles number 78 <clears throat> and turtles number 79. And then Secret History of the Foot Clan number one. And Secret History of the Foot Clan number two. And number four of the same series there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe, number 14. And number 16. And number 17. And number 18. And then, uh, well, uh, get to the story here so we uh we're supposed to hook up travis and i and and uh get to uh picking up this minor grail and uh so i sat down and started going through the bins there and the bins were uh pretty depleted usually they have a a, a bigger box up at the counter that has uh, the, the higher value keys those were gone uh derek had had some health issues and was not uh around and hadn't been restocking things for a while so um i sat down and i started going through everything and my intention wasn't to go through everything but uh, i called travis and he was running behind so i uh, kept on going and as i when i go to places i like to dig and uh, start pulling out whatever books that might interest me and then make a final decision at the end and so as i was going along i noticed that my pile was getting larger and larger and larger 
And uh, finally, uh, I got to the turtle section, and I didn't even go through the X X Men stuff that I probably should have. Pulled all those books out, and uh, Derek says to me, "Well, it looks like you've got quite a pile there." And I said, "Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have pulled out as many books as I, I did, but you know, I'll happily go ahead and sort them back in. Uh, we can thin it out a little bit." And he says to me, "No, no, no, wait a minute, no, no, you know, well, let's let's just take a look." And he added up the value of all the books, and I think it came to close to five hundred dollars. And I was like, "Uh, yeah, see, I wasn't really." looking to spend that much money today and he says well how much were you looking to spend and i put out a dollar amount to, you know i i was i'm really trying to restrict my spending uh, of not picking up a lot of small dollar keys i need to start uh moving some books and making some money before i uh you know start picking up more of the small dollar keys uh, and whatnot but uh there I was with this this stack of semi small dollar keys. So uh, we talked, and he says, "Well, thin it thin it down." And uh, I thinned down at the pile. And uh, anyway, long story short, we came to a great deal on the books, uh, where we were both happy with the amount of money that we got. And uh, yeah, uh, so. Then I went over and hooked up with Travis, and I will show you the book that uh, we picked up from Trav. So, we picked up a copy of New Mutants 98 in a 7.5, first appearance of Deadpool, newsstand edition, and was very happy to get that from him. And uh, I don't have a copy of that book, so I figured it would be a good time to pick one up now. And uh, it was not a super expensive pickup for me. So uh, I think I paid $200 for it, which I thought was a pretty good deal for a 7.5. Uh, I'd like to get a higher grade copy, obviously, but uh, there we go. So there's our haul for the day, guys. Uh, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome. And don't forget to Share your love of comics with everyone that you meet. You never know where that may lead you.